Hey everybody, it's Mr. Roach. We are here listening to Star Wars played through our Arduino and with the contact player and um, the hairless MIDI serial bridge. That's what's going on right now. So, this is great. This is what you should be able to do. And um, you can do things like you can change the instruments on this and things like that. And see if you like this. Let's try Noir. <laughs> so they're pretty good. Um, let's see what, let's see what these guys have. That's not bad. And like the the synth has all sorts of like like um, settings and stuff like that too that you can use. Okay. I don't know if this changes it that much. Let me see. There you go. It's a little bit softer. But what we want to do is get this built, okay? So I want you guys to be able to do this. I'd like to see you playing it on your um, synth things. But what I want to do is I want to get the code of it written tonight, okay? And that's what we're shooting for tomorrow. So this is easy to do. It seems like it's totally possible to do. And um, let me show you how to do it, okay? Um, also here are just a few more instruments. You can just change instruments at any time you want. Like, uh, let's try the world ones. Turn this off for a second. Go here. <laughs> so you can see like different sounds. Um, it might be hard to hear from. Uh, But it's good. It seems like it works pretty well. You get the idea. Okay. So we want to be able to do this. And I guess what we want to do is start doing more complicated things too. But, um, but this seems pretty good. And we can hook up the Arduino to do some buttons and things like that. And, um, and that's what we're working with. Okay. So there we go. Let's get this to go for you guys. Okay. Put this together, you have a couple of different sources. We have Happy Birthday, okay? And the basic thing we need is we need this thing that's going to play the MIDI stuff for us. So we're going to need something like this and something like this and these note commands and things like that, okay? We also had, we did this for homework, um, we also had a, um, a Star Wars using uh, the piezo sensor over here on 1, 2, 3D circuits, which has like all the notes, okay? And um, I've been working on the timings a little bit. I think from this original thing, the timings aren't the same. But but these note things are, are good. Um, so the way to do this is um, you want to do this on Arduino, not on one, two, three D circuits, okay? So you're going to get into the Arduino program. It's this program, Arduino 3. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a new file, okay? And you can see that it's it's just, there's nothing in it. Okay, there's a setup and there's a loop. And, um, you know, you're going to save it as Star Wars, okay? Look like this and save it as Star Wars, maybe. Um, yeah, but maybe. Yeah. Okay, like that. Okay. And then the thing is from all of these, these um, like play happy birthday and stuff like that, is that you just need some notes, okay? Now what we learned in class was that MIDI corresponds to um, um, has notes that they have like numbered notes. And I made a chart on our, um, if we go to Canvas here, um, let me get in there. If you go to Canvas in our classes, um, you have a MIDI note chart, okay? And a MIDI note chart will tell you like the MIDI kind of key codes that you need for like a note. So we figured out in class that like C5 was 60, okay? And then C sharp is 61, D is 62. It just sort of goes on sequentially, okay? So it's not so hard. You just have to find out where to start. 
and you need the notes to Star Wars. So, what we did was we had this on um, on one, two, three D circuits. Okay, and the, these are actually the notes for Star Wars right there. So if you copy those from here. Or you can just copy them from this video or whatever. These are the, going to be the notes. So we need some place with all the notes. Okay. But these are also in like Hertz frequencies. Okay. Like these are all in Hertz. So you don't really care about Hertz right now because you care about MIDI stuff. Okay. Do this in Hertz. Okay. Um, so what we want to do is we want to kind of translate this. Okay. And I want to make sure that we can do this. Um, I think you're also going to run into a little bit of trouble because on the Arduino there's actually a pin like A4 and that might cause us trouble too. So I'm going to go like this and I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm adding comments so you know that these are, um, these are just, um, and I think this will do. I might have trouble with this, I might have to erase this, but I think it's okay. So I'm going to go like this, do this, HC. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm taking out the hertz. Things, but I need some numbers for this, okay? So what I need you to do for our homework is to go find out what the MIDI key code for A4 will be, okay? And um, I'm gonna go like this too, and put like a, just a, I can, I can do this in front of it, just go like this. This is actually legal. Um, and let me see if this will work for us. And I'll show you how to find a MIDI code. Okay, so you're going to have to go to this MIDI chart, okay, which is online here, on our, um, there it is, the MIDI number chart. Okay, you can go to this link, and it'll take you to the actual chart. And what I need right now is um, I need a number for A4. So I'm looking for A4, and this is A, and this is the fourth octave, and the number for A4 is ta -da, 57 okay so what I need to do is put this number here 57 okay so it needs that and then now um, we need to find B4 okay so B4 is going to be two steps up for 59 okay so then okay and then C5 is going to be we said C4 is 60 so C5, or C4 is 48, I guess. We said C5 is 60. We actually knew that. So we're going to say that, 60. And then D4. Okay. So for homework, I want you to find the rest of these, okay? I'm going to stick mine in. Um, and I will, you know, I want you guys to fill out. Hi. And then now what we have to do is we have to take these notes that we made, okay, and make a tune out of them, okay? So it's got to go like dun 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 and I'm just looking at this one site um, for music. I mean, go go get their music from them and stuff. But but um, this has a little bit more stuff which we can actually program. But but we're just trying to get the melody right now. Okay. So um, what we have to do is we have to make a thing called an array. Okay. To hold all the notes. Okay. So I'm going to make an, like a, and these, since these are all numbers, I'm going to make this no, an integer array called like the tune. Okay. And then inside these curly braces, I'm going to put all the notes. Okay. Um, I happen to have um, stuff here. So I'm going to just copy this. Okay. Because I, I, we figured this out before. And it'll speed things up. And, you know, this is not a music class. So, so that's, that's good. Okay. And then um, another thing we're going to need is we're going to need like timing to do this, okay? So the timing works like this. These were like third notes, and I think these are dotted um, half notes. Or like, I don't know, it seems like the timing works better after doing it this way. I've been kind of messing around with this. So I'm going to take this array as well, and I'm going to make a, make a timing array, okay? And that's good. And then um, we need we need some other things from like the last program to like just run MIDI. Okay, so these MIDI um, um, variables are also there from the from things we did before. Okay, so that's pretty good. And um, let me see what else we have to do. Okay, so we got this. We got our notes. We got some timings. Okay, then in setup we're gonna have to do um, we have to get the serial interface working so we can talk to our MIDI controller. So you have to say serial. 
begin. Okay. And then we need our baud rate. And that was the thing was in like the 3800s. Let me see if I got this over here. Um, let me see. Yeah, okay. Um, serial begin. It's going to be that 38400. Okay, so we need that. 38400. Okay, we're going to do that. And then in the loop, what we're going to do is we're just going to, um, we're going to play Star Wars over and over again. So I'm going to make a routine called play Star Wars. Okay, and it's just going to do it. It's not there yet. And then we're going to wait like a second every time. You can wait longer. Um, you know, it might be funnier if like it sort of surprised everybody. But what it's going to do basically is going to do that. Okay. And then we need a couple of things. We need to be able to play MIDI notes, and then we need the notes like to be like we need Star Wars. Okay. So I'm going to need a couple of things here. I'm going to need play. Um, I'm going to need a thing called play Star Wars. So it's going to be like void. Play Star Wars. Okay. And then I need something to play the MIDI stuff. Okay. Our MIDI stuff is um, just this command right here. This is the thing to send a MIDI message. So I'm going to use that. Put it up here. Have it right there, right underneath the thing, right before all the setup and void. This is like our own stuff that goes ahead of the of the Arduino stuff. And then, um, and then I'm going to play Star Wars. So let me write this out for you. I don't have so much time in this in this video, but what I need to do is I need to make a loop to play the song. The song has 19 notes, okay, and um, and basically I need something to count like sort of for each of the notes okay so if I go up here and look at this I got one two three four five six seven eight all the way down here 19 notes okay and, um, and what I want to do is I want to play them so I'm gonna make a loop for that and you write you do is you write four uh, um, some integer like the counting integer and it's gonna start at zero and while it's less than uh, the number is less than 19 we're gonna do stuff and then every time we finish the loop, it's going to go plus plus i. Okay, so this is how you write a for loop. Um, you guys have seen this before, but this is what we got to do. Okay, and then what we're going to do is um, this is stuff from the from the original like um, timing thing. I'm going to set up a note duration. Okay, for this. Okay, so I need to know how long to play to the notes. The notes vary. That's the thing. So. After experimenting with this, what I did was I divided the timing that I divided by that and did multiply times three to kind of speed it up because it seemed like the MIDI was slower than the, than the piezo stuff, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play my, play my MIDI note, okay? So this is how this works, okay? So we're going to use the command note on, okay, here. We're going to send it whatever note we have from I from the tune, so it's going to be D4, 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 like it's going to go like that, okay? And then we use this velocity, which is, has to do with the key velocity, which actually we could actually vary too. We could have a velocity thing for that. It would be like bum, 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 bah, and have that be higher there, stuff like that. And then, so that, that, that calls this MIDI message routine. So it calls this MIDI message, goes up here. This outputs the MIDI command over serial. Yay. Okay. And then, um, then what we're going to do is we're going to turn it off, okay? So we'll, we'll turn the note off. Okay. And then, um, and then what we do is just delay between the next note, okay? So in the other, in the other program, they said like 1.4. I don't know, playing with this, I sort of liked 1.2. So I'm going to add these two lines to my loop, okay? And... And that will be um, it. Okay, so that's going to get you the um, the song. Okay, what I want to see from you guys is that this has been completed. Okay, and this is the whole song. So let me show this to you. I have to stop the stop the. Um, I want you guys to figure out the notes, but um, but here's the tune. Okay, <laughs> here's the tune. Okay, here are the durations. Okay, I got like 30 seconds. Here's the MIDI stuff. Here's a MIDI command to write a MIDI, you know, put a MIDI note. And then here's a loop that plays Star Wars. Okay. The basic setup is here. The basic loop is here. This will go on and on. This sets up serial. Okay. 
and this will let you play this with the serial.